Hey everybody, I'm going to make one more video and that's going to be it for today. Anyway, um, I shared an earlier video and I had mentioned in the video that I thought about um, talking to you guys or sharing with you guys some ways that, um, that uh, I am more efficient in the home. Uh, we have a large family and um, nothing is perfect in our family uh, but things sure are a lot better than they used to be in a lot of ways um, just like with any uh, new mom that um, that runs a busy household um, it takes time and effort to learn ways that um, can make your life a lot more pleasant and uh, to make your world more efficient and of course as many people would know um, many homeschool moms do know um, you have to have efficiency um, in your household to run it um, whenever you have homeschooling and, and housework and cooking and ministry on top of that and not to mention if you garden and homestead and and all that so um, anyway um, first of all I would like to highly recommend a few resources one of them being fly lady if you've never heard of fly lady please go to flylady.com or dot net I think it's dot net but anyway um, she has great resources on how to get started with good habits and to have good routines uh, to do daily and um, so I guess I could go over a few of those but before I do one other um, resource that I have is called Large Family Logistics I believe you can get that book on Amazon but if not I know that you can get it through visionforum.com um, as far as the routines, um, like I said, our house isn't um, perfect, but um, it's manageable. It's it's better than um, it used to be, and I do credit it to um, routines. Uh, the first routine would be whenever. Well, let me start with night. I believe that's when how fly lady does it too. Um, the night before. What I do, I'm trying to think of what she does, but what I do personally is I always make sure that I have my clothes laid out for the next day. Whether I'm wearing the same clothing that I had on that day because they're not soiled badly, or if I need clothes for a new, a fresh set of clothes for the following day, I always make sure that I have that set aside and ready to go. Uh, sometimes I lay it out on my dresser or on the chair beside the bed or sometimes I also um, just keep it hung at the end of the closet but uh, I always try to make sure and I even lay out the shoes and whether I'm wearing trouser socks or tights or socks with my shoes I always make sure that that's ready to go I try to do the same thing with the children um, Actually, the oldest daughter, she manages that for herself. My oldest son, he does that for himself and his two younger brothers. And then I help out with the three youngest girls. Um, I have a separate little section. We have a family closet uh, for the children. And all of their clothes are uh, held within the washroom. And um, so I have a separate section that I put the younger girls' clothes at for what I have planned for later, whether it's um, for church days, uh, the clothes they're going to wear to church, or just for the next day, um, whatever they're going to be wearing. Um, so I lay out the clothes, and then um, I look over any lists that I may have whether it's um, to, a to-do list or the menus, if I need to lay out any 
um, meat for the following day to cook, I go ahead and do that, put it in the fridge or whatever. And then um, if I, I, I try to do a quick tidy of the living room as well. And so um, that pretty well settles it for the evening routine for me. Um, most of the time I will try to make sure that the, the kitchen is pretty well in order. I'm not as spastic about it as Fly Lady is. I hate to say spastic. That sounds mean. Not spastic. Um, and I won't say perfectionistic because that's what she's striving for people not to be. But I'm not as strict about shining the sink as she is. Um, because I wash dishes on one side of the sink and then I put the clean dishes on the left side of the sink. But I try to make sure that everything's pretty well clean and um, neatened. So uh, then the next morning when I get up, um, I would like to tell you that I get dressed right away. I don't. Um, I get up first thing and I go make uh, my husband's lunch and breakfast and then um, I see him on his way to work and make sure that he's he's all ready and he's gone and uh, then I get dressed and then um, once I'm dressed I um, do any cleaning in the bathroom that needs to be done just a quick um, Swishing of the toilet if it needs it, um, swiping of the sink and mirror if it needs it, and then um, to do a quick swiffer of the floor. And so um, then I come into the bedroom and I make the bed. You know, actually, my husband's made the bed a few mornings. I think the habits are catching on with him too, and he's, he's made the bed a few mornings. So that's been pretty nice. But, um, and I'm not perfect about how I make my bed up. Usually I just make sure the pillows are in place, I throw the sheet over, I throw the blanket over, then I throw the comforter over, and that's it. Now sometimes, like on Thursdays, today's Thursday, and it was bedroom day. I'll get on to that in a minute. But I will, when I change the sheets and everything, I'll make sure that the we have more of the hospital corner type um, bed making going on to make it a little bit neater and also um, mm, where was I so bedroom day yeah and I'll just do uh, okay I'll make the bed in the morning for the morning routine and I'll just do a quick pickup and um, and then a quick swiffer of the floor if it needs it if it doesn't need it I don't do it and then so um, that pretty well takes care of the routines um, that and just those two routines the morning routine and the night routine makes a big difference now a lot of mornings I will get on the computer and I'll check our bank account make sure everything's in order there and then I'll also look over the day and see what we need to be doing now breaking down the days um, fly lady she likes to break everything down into zones and then uh, you are assigned a zone a week to do and all during that week you do the zone and it works very well um, you throughout the month you know that you're gonna at least once a month you're gonna hit that zone so it doesn't pile up and then a few months later look terrible no, you're going to hit it once a month so it gets done at least once a month so things don't get so backed up. That works great um, for a lot of people. But I found with our family, especially being a bigger family, what works even better for us is to hit each zone not just once a month or one, one week out of the month, but to hit it weekly, one day out of a week. So um, it won't be like a three week gap in between um, the times that I hit that zone it will be just a six day gap in between the times that I hit that zone so um, and then of course 
it seems that once things get pretty well caught up, if you're under a pile of rubble from months and months or years and years of not doing um, maintenance work, um, once you're out from underneath that pile and you've got everything, pre you're pretty well on top of everything, it's easier to maintain your zones. And so it doesn't take as long to maintain it as it does to catch up on it. I know, trust me, <laughs> this happened a lot to me. So anyway, um, I prefer just to have a six day gap in between the times that I, I call it detailing the zones or the rooms. And I have it broken down into rooms mainly than I do zones. But um, so I detail um, once a week each area. And that way, because if you have nine people in your family, it can pile up rather quickly. So by the time you would get around to um, the week to do your, your zone, you could be pretty well snowed under by then. You can, you can have an avalanche in your house fall over by then if you wait that long sometimes. So I like Fly Lady, but that's, the only, that's one of the things I did have to tweak is to do my zones weekly. And so um, now, currently, our zones is on Monday. Monday is kitchen day because, um, like I said, we're not perfect and things do get backed up over the weekend, especially with um, if we have socials and whatnot going on or whatever church activities are going on. Um, we can be pretty busy and it's a thing of fix a dish, hurry up, run out the door kind of thing. And so sometimes we do have dishes backed up, and um, but usually it's only on Monday. And so um, what I did was I made Mondays um, my kitchen detail day. And um, at the beginning, when I first did this, what I would do is I'd take a notepad or a, note piece, uh, a notebook or, or paper, and I would write down Monday. And throughout the pre prior week, I would write down what I needed to do that day when Monday would hit. So if the microwave started getting a little icky looking, I would write down um, microwave. So I'd know to do the microwave. If the stove top needed detailing, I would write down stove top. Some things every week you have to do. Usually those are the two things I have to do every week. But then um, I, I can assign a cabinet to organize. Like this week I took the cabinet that has our plastic wear in it and I threw away a bunch of um, yogurt tops and, and bowls that didn't have matching lids and all. I threw those away and uh, tidied up that cabinet and then the drawer that had a bunch of lids and stuff in it that didn't make any sense to keep. And um, like this week I also replaced the light bulbs in the refrigerator. There are three bulbs that go in there and they were all three out so I did that. But anyway you can, you can make a list of what you need to do and uh, sometimes now I make a list but uh, usually now it's just like a, an even rhythm that goes on. I can just spot it right away what needs to be done because I'm so used to seeing it done that it highlights it when it's not done if it makes sense. Before there was so much that needed to be done that it was crazy. Nothing, everything just looked the same but if you have things more in an order when you see something out of order or something that needs to be cleaned it highlights it to need to be done. So you'll see that and then you'll you'll have the urge to clean it. And then so anyway, Monday is kitchen day, Tuesday is living room day. And I did have those flip flopped. I did have Mondays as living room day and Tuesdays as kitchen, but I said like I said, I needed to flip them around because kitchens are pretty bad on Monday. And then Mond so Tuesday is the living room day. Um, Wednesday, that's laundry day. The reason I chose Wednesday as our laundry day, and I don't mean doing all of our laundry on Wednesday. I do laundry every day. I have three to five loads every day to do. But what I mean by that is um, I go in there and I catch up if any laundry has backed up, especially with the folding and putting away 
that is my day designated to do that or if I want to wipe down the washer or the dryer or the doors or walls or whatnot um, that's the day that I do that so anyway this video has been going on for over 15 minutes so I think I will start another video and continue the rest of the week bye